we cannot ask Senegal to say tomorrow we legalize homosexuality and tomorrow is gay parades. That's not possible either because our society doesn't accept it. In Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's desperate attempt to get Canada a two-year temporary seat on the UN Security Council, he's been traveling around Africa where some international observers have called it meeting with despots and dictators to turn on a charm offensive to get their vote. Well, is this yet another one of Justin Trudeau's sort of gaff-tastic international trips? In uh, our conversations, of course, I talk about human rights, and we recognize there's always more work to do. Here's what happened. He's in Senegal, he's meeting with the president of Senegal, and a question is posed with respect to that country's human rights issues, specifically they're, uh, against homosexuals. The country has banned homosexuality. It's illegal with imprisonment up to five years. Trudeau, of course, we know that he always talks about how much of a humanitarian he is, how egalitarian he is. Uh, so he stood shoulder to shoulder with the president of Senegal, who then said, we're comfortable with the laws as they are. We cannot ask Senegal to say tomorrow we legalize homosexuality and tomorrow is gay parades. So an embarrassing front page on the paper in, in the country talking about the questions being posed to the prime minister um, in order to get this vote from Senegal, which he did, by the way. Our competition for this two-year uh, seat on the Security Council, Norway and Ireland. They actually spend a lot more on foreign aid than Canada does, so they might have a slight advantage. But back to the trip for Justin Trudeau. We know that there's some challenges going on in Canada, specifically with railways being blockaded by um, illegal protesters, which the Prime Minister has said very little about. Obviously, this is a situation we're following very closely. Uh, I have had a long and constructive conversation with Premier Horgan uh, on the flight. I know Mr. Darno is going to give uh, an update uh, soon back home. There's no end in sight for these blockades. He, the, uh, Trudeau has decided to help these African nations help develop and flourish their oil and gas sectors. So he says one thing one part of the world and won't say the same thing back here at home. Somewhat questionable, somewhat hypocritical. Log on to Facebook and Twitter, let us know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.